after the uh, fourth trip to the machine shop, I think we might have a winner. Um, they welded it up <clears throat> and then uh, took it back down. Um, that was the only way to get it uh, right since uh, the last time they uh, hand polished it holding it in the air. It is much, much better now. As you can see, the rods spin freely on the uh, crankshaft. It's uh, no drag as there was before. Um, let's try this one. Number three. Looks good. Four. Look at that. Very good. So, um, what I'm going to do is take the rods off, use plasti gauge, and uh, see what I'm at. Now, the guy at the machine shop warned me that even though they welded it up, there still might be some uh, um, some little uh, marks or in the metal or or, or little holes. Um, he says it's okay and it'll just uh, you know help catch the oil and spread it around, but he said it won't be any problems. Um, I can't get this camera too close. Oh wow. This side, you can see a lot more of those, what he was talking about. There are just a lot of little, little holes. I used the, um, well, I got off the uh, rods and I cleaned it up. And um, I don't know if you can see, there is some divots in there. Uh, the machine shop was supposed to make it uh, the 1.5425 inches. My little $20 micrometer I got from Amazon and uh, as you can see whoops went too far there we go and that is right at um, 1.5425 you can feel a little bit of drag there let me try right here. It's the same. And then here. Same as well. And this way. Yes. I can get fine on here like this. Let me just rotate it around. I don't know why sometimes it's hard to catch. Um, yeah, so it seems okay. I really hate doing this too much because uh, I don't like um, scratching it up. But uh, that seems good. So now that I know I have my um, 15425 uh, because I used um, I guess you call it uh, undersized bearings. Um, still uh, learning the terminology. Um, so I cleaned up the uh, bearing halves, the, the rod bearing halves, and uh, I got the uh, the plastic gauge ready. And uh, it's going to do a uh, plastic gauge test and see where we're at. I have to make this brief because my battery's dying, but it looks like I have the uh, 0 0.0015 I need. Um, with the plastic gauge test. I'm sorry I can't get any closer. I don't have a macro lens, but uh, that is uh, 0 0.0015 and uh, 0 0.0015. So um, I'm going to move on to the next one, but I expect it to be the same, and I'm also going to uh, measure with the micrometer as well.